and I'll be doing I'll do back in a video today today. This video is about uh, in my opinion why I think in our role players are never gonna learn about keeping out of trouble and uh, staying out of uh, bad scandals and all that during the uh, off season and all that. Uh, it's ridiculous and uh, I might have a little bit of a rant about it actually because I'm not happy at all. Um, and and today the reason why I'm not happy as well because uh, today another scandal with an NRL player called Tom Starling from the Canberra Raiders. He's um he's been found uh, apparently abusing a police officer on the Central Coast on a Saturday night and um yeah I'm not happy at all. I'm very uh very pissed off about about all this with uh, NRL players who cannot you know uh, learn the rules and who not and who cannot you know understand the message. And uh, to keep out of trouble and um, not do any stupid things, but yet again, no surprise, NRL players do it regardless. They they don't learn. They're addicted to trouble, and I'm sick of those repeating those repeating offenders who can't keep you know they you know who can't keep out of trouble, and um, it's completely fucked, and I'm over it. So uh, let's get into the video. So you know today, Tom Starling, he's been found um, apparently abusing a police officer at a party. And uh, even Tom Starling has been left injured after, uh, as well on the face. And uh, apparently he was drunk and he was just abusing someone, uh, a few people, having a bit of a fight with him and all that. Um, and look, Tom Starling, you're a dumb cunt, mate. And um, he thinks he's some sort of fucking superhero for bashing up a police officer, the cunt. You're not cool at all. I mean, I mean... I know he was drinking, but no excuse. I mean, you don't go ahead and, and like abuse anyone. Not you know, you know, you don't abuse a police officer or anyone. I mean, Thomas Starling's just an idiot, and um, fuck him. To be honest, just fuck him. That's all I want to say. That's your only. That's the message right there, Thomas Starling. Fuck you. Fuck you. Um, for making the NRL look bad, making the image look yeah, making the image of the NRL look bad, making your own club look bad, the Canberra Raiders, and making you know yourself look bad. You're you're an absolute idiot, mate. You're a tr you're a clown of the. Yeah, you're an absolute clown at the moment, Tom Starling, and, um, and, um, get fucked. Get fucked, Tom Starling, get fucked. Um, but I'm not happy at all, because it just, it's repeating every time, every, every off-season. There's always an NRL player, and more NRL, NRL players, not just one NRL player, like, bloody eight or ten NRL players, who cannot follow the NRL fucking rules, and they just cannot stay out of trouble, and it's completely fucked, because NRL fans... And people in particular, they look up to some of these NRL players, and um, they're big fans. They go to games because of NRL, these NRL players as well. But unfortunately, they can't keep out of drug scandals, sex, sex scandals, physical um, you know, abuse scandals, and all that. Um, they just can't keep out of trouble with some NRL players, and they, they, just, they just don't learn. Obviously, they just can't understand the message that uh, and the guidelines that the NRL have sent out to those players that stay out of trouble. It's just not on, and... Um, some NRL players need to wake up. Some NRL players who have been found recently of being in trouble, being involved in scandals, have to wake up to themselves because they're just absolute dumb cunts, in my opinion, and they're just nothing but pea brain sized fuckheads. And um, it just gets me pissed off because no, no one can follow the rules these days in the NRL. And, um, and it's an absolute privilege to be an NRL player as well. I mean, like, I love to be an NRL player, you know? Um, because everyone wants to watch you, you're on TV every week, everyone can, like, watch you, you're, you know, you're, not, you're well known, you're famous, and then you go away out and make your image look bad by doing whatever it is, like a drug scandal, uh, take, like, taking powder or whatever, um, taking, out, like, any bad substance, or just, you know, apparently sexually assaulting, uh, someone like what bloody, um, oh, what's his name, apparently Jared Hain did, and all that, um, and who else, like, even, um, you know, being involved, and even sex tape's been out there, like, bloody Dylan Arpa, big, that big pappy cunt, uh, he's been found of, you know, doing, you know, uh, being involved in a sex tape, so is Katani Staggs, that Katani Staggs sex tape should have never been known, um, it's an absolute mess with what NRL players do, and also, there's also physical, um, physical abuses, I mean, Dylan Walker has been one, Dylan Walker thinks he's some UFC fighting cunt, who's all, all tough and all that, and then you got uh, Ben Barber, who's also done it before. He's bashed up his wife. Um, yeah, Ben Barber is a, a complete tool. He's um, also taken, um, you know, cocaine before after the twenty sixteen NRL Grand Final. So, and, and Ben Barber's Ben Barber's a complete crook in my opinion. He's an um, he's such such a, yeah he's just an idiot. Ben Barber, I don't know what he's doing now. Probably working at the bin, the dunce, the uh, you know, 
in Townsville um, dumpsters or something, the poor cunt. Um, and also, um, and players like Brent Naden, Michael Jennings, uh, Bronson Jerry, and most recently the Titans assistant coach Michael Gore, the former NRL player, they have all taken. Uh, they've been found positive for drug tests, and um, it's disappointing because obviously a drug is a big problem. Big problem in sport, any professional sport, and obviously guys like Jennings, um, Bronson Jerry, uh, Brett Naden, and um, even the, um, Michael Gordon, the former NRL player, they just can't learn. And um, yeah, for players that take drugs, they're absolute nongs. And um, and seriously, they can go fuck themselves. Absolute dumb cunts. Um, I, hold, I hold no sympathy for any of those players who take drugs, especially because, uh, you know, I don't care how good that NRL player was. I don't care how good he was. I don't feel sorry for any of them for taking drugs because uh, taking drugs in a, in a professional sport is a big problem. And, um, yeah, it's, it's completely disgusting when you take drugs, making the NRL look bad. And I'm sick of NRL players making the uh, NRL look bad, making their clubs look bad, making themselves personally look bad. But I don't care about uh, NRL pl uh, players who get into trouble because uh, I'm pissed off at them especially. But they make the, the whole NRL game look bad. They make fans upset because they look up to those players who get who've had, who have got into trouble. And um, I just want to say, um, fuck NRL players that want to just... Who want to just um, create trouble and cannot stay out of trouble, and um, it's really annoying. And um, yeah, the message is is strong enough to some players, um, unfortunately, and in particular, um, probably you know. I just think that it's not on how their uh, NRL players just cannot learn. It's it's every preseason, every off season, unfortunately, uh, it just happens. Um, you know. Uh, you know, like, they, they just can't learn. I mean, Manasi Farnu's, you know, he apparently stabbed someone. And, like, I don't know if he did it or not, but, like, I don't know. I, I don't call, you know what? I don't call Manasi Farnu Manasi Farnu anymore. I call him AKA Chucky Chucky Doll. Because the cunt probably, I don't know, like, what would he be at? Like, what, what would he be doing at a church dance with a knife, this stupid fuck? Like, why would you have a knife for walking around? You absolute crazy cunt. Why would you walk around with a knife for at a church to dance or something? You complete full Manasi fine. I'm, I'm disappointed that he's even representing a manly jersey at the moment, this stupid cunt. Um, but look, I'm, yeah, I'm really pissed off. I'm not happy at all. Uh, as an NRL fan, I'm really angry about it. And I'm sure every NRL fan out there is really over it as well. And, yeah, NRL players who, who cannot stay out of trouble, who are in scandals all the time. Uh, I just want to say one thing. Wake up to your fucking selves, you absolute mongs! Just wake up to yourselves. I'm really, yeah, it's fucking annoying. I just, I just cannot stand NRL players getting themselves into trouble any like anymore. You know, obviously now NRL has a reputation of having players who who um who are always caught up in, into trouble, and I'm sick of it. And um, and um, yeah, fuck players who take drugs. Fuck players who who um who abuse women. Uh, and fuck players that. Uh, also, just get into fights, and I think they're all cool cunts for just bashing up people because it's not on. And um, yeah, fucking our old players to do that. I'm, I'm really over it, guys. I'm just, yeah, sorry about the rant, but I have to get it off my chest because I'm really disappointed and really uh, frustrated with this ongoing um, NRL shit uh, that you know off-season scandals and all that. It's really annoying, and um, yeah, I'm not happy at all. So. Guys, that's the end of the video. Please like, comment, subscribe to the channel, and I'm really over it. And just, yeah, I'm really over it. Just, um, it's completely fucked how it happens every preseason uh, with um, these scandals happening. And, um, and it's a real, real disappointment to see. And, um, yeah, that's the end of the video, guys. I'm not happy. But uh, see you tomorrow for the Fantastic Rabbit League episode number 22. So see you then.